Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Minute, where we're throwing strikes and getting likes, hitting dingers, and getting listeners back again with another episode. It's Friday night, uh, Saturday morning, if you're listening to this, probably, or afternoon. Uh, we are back again. The fireworks are going off. We are a couple days from the 4th of July. And the Brewers are playing the Pirates in Pittsburgh. It was an Apple TV game tonight. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But first, remember, you can get a discount on codes, or on codes, on tickets with the code Miller Park Minute at SeatGeek.com. Go to SeatGeek.com. Uh, go over there and get a discount from your friend and mine, the Miller Park Minute. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can go to patreon.com slash Miller Park Minute, or you can click the join button down below on the YouTube link. Uh, we are on YouTube, Spotify, Google, Amazon, CastBox, iHeartRadio, Pocket Cast, Radio Public. You name it, we are there. Wherever you get your podcast, we are there. Um, we also have a FOCO sponsor. You go over to Brew Fanatics. You see the latest Brew Fanatic video. Like I said, that was the all-star one that I did, and then I talked about Yelich in the previous week's video, so you can talk, hear everything I have to say about All Stars so far. I'm going to do another All Star wrap coming up here uh, once more the players get announced and stuff like that. You've already heard my opinions on who I think should be there, so let's 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 hope we get some of these guys that I think should go. Uh, that being said, let's get into the good, the bad, and the downright ugly of tonight's Milwaukee Brewer game against the Pittsburgh Pirates on Apple TV, everybody's favorite TV service. Uh, very cinematic, very, very good stuff. Um, let's talk about the game here. So the Brewers had this game pretty much the whole time. Um, really wasn't too much too much thought that I didn't really think it was gonna gonna end this way so uh, let's let's talk about the good first um, first of all we did put up seven runs on eight hits um, key contributor today Owen Miller going three for five um, Damas uh, Telez did get one today, get a hit. Yelich had a hit. Yelich playing DH and leading off. Uh, Contreras got on a couple times. Uh, really, for all, Peralta did do five and third. He uh, only gave up three earned runs. Was, again, bitten by the long ball, but he did have eight Ks tonight. So, a little bit of an improvement there. Uh, Pannon did uh, two and two-thirds innings, five hits. To give up to earn runs, though striking out four, and then the downright ugly of tonight's game. Uh, so, Freddie, Freddie, still less than three runs. Didn't make it quite make it to the sixth though. Um, but the downright ugly is Bush. So Bush got two thirds of the way there, and. Uh, Yeah, couldn't couldn't pull it off. Did two thirds inning, um, three hits, three runs, all of which earned, and he gave up the long ball. Bush has not proven himself to be good. I don't know why. In a situation, they couldn't just walk the bases loaded and go to a different arm, such as Devin Williams. I know Devin Williams has pitched a lot lately, but he is our. And I'm going to say it, all-star closer. He's an all-star. He's he's one of the best closers in the league, in my opinion. This just should have went, shouldn't have went down that way. We were we were ahead quite a bit in this game, and it's just we got bushwhacked. We got bushwhacked by our own guy. Um, that's what it comes down to. How ugly are these pirates' yellow uniforms? The PGH. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I, I like the, the difference in the City Connect, but it's just kind of ugly in my opinion. So with this, the Reds did win tonight. Uh, so that puts us a game behind the Reds. Uh, I think I told you this, this was a crucial series. 
uh, for us and these couple against NL Central really need we need to put our division and our our stand back our stamp on this and it just didn't happen tonight it wasn't in the cards Bush came in and whacked it so uh yeah I don't I don't know what to, more to say than that we got we got bushed and it was bad and uh What you gonna do? Uh, one of the things that is is coming now. We we do have pretty much most of our injuries cleared up, so it, it should be time to reform here. Um, the only the only um, one I'm expecting here, and I want to see real bad, is uh, we should be getting Brandon Woodruff back real soon. Uh, it looks like he is starting to throw. Um, so he, he did, uh, a session the other day and he, like all the pitchers watched and so that's very good. I'm very excited for that. Um, guys, we haven't seen or aren't hearing anything about Tyrone Taylor, Jake Cousins. They don't even have return dates on these guys. Bennett Sosa, Sousa, uh, Justin Wilson, they're saying July. He's that guy that we picked up that. Was injured when we picked him up, so we'll see how that goes. And um, who they still say late July, August on Woody. Ugh, 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 ugh. Oh, <laughs> uh, not fun, not fun, not fun. But that being said, guys, this is going to be a short episode today saturday we will be back with a live session 4 30 central time um what time is our game at our game tomorrow is at 305 so we'll be doing a a watch along slash fresh podcast tomorrow afternoon come check it out Miller park minute channel uh the facebook the youtube wherever you get your Live streams, Twitter, Twitch, we are on all of them doing live streams. So thanks for watching tonight, guys. You have yourselves a great rest of your evening, day, whatever time you may be watching. If it's 4 o'clock, come check out the live stream. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, go Brew Crew.